Today we talk about the similarities and the differences between perlite and vermiculite. Both perlite and vermiculite are inorganic, relatively lightweight, relatively sterile soil additives that are created by superheating their base material. But that's where the similarities end. Perlite is a hard, very porous, white material that's created when a volcanic glass is superheated. The volcanic glass has minute droplets of water trapped inside, and the superheating process makes it poof up, kind of like popcorn, leaving behind voids and nooks and crannies where the water molecules used to be. It's this very poor structure that helps it trap water on the surface, thus creating a water retention material that quickly releases the water into the soil that it's added into. This quick release of water is going to raise the humidity around your plants and aid in drainage of the overall soil. It's this quick release re reaction that makes it perfect for when you're trying to root cuttings, as too much moisture trapped around your cuttings could cause rot. Perlite is slightly more alkaline, so therefore plants that enjoy a well-drained soil with a slightly higher pH are perfect for adding perlite to their soil. Plants such as cactus, succulents, and air plants really work well in this environment. Vermiculite, on the other hand, is soft and it's created by superheating mica. Where perlite has that popcorn-like structure, the vermiculite has more of like a, an accordion or crumpled paper structure that makes it very spongy. It's those elements of it that helps it far surpass perlite in the water retention. Thus, it retains water and releases it more slowly. It can also retain water-soluble nutrients and release them slowly into the soil as well. It is this water retention quality that makes vermiculite the perfect choice for seeds, as seeds can stress if they have high fluctuations in humidity. The slow release of the water of the vermiculite is going to keep those seeds evenly moist. Vermiculite has a nearly neutral pH, so for plants that enjoy a wet soil environment and need that equilibrium of pH, vermiculite is the winner. A side note to both perlite and vermiculite, remember at the very beginning I called them soil additives, not soil amendments. If you are looking to amend your soil, that means to completely change the structure of the soil you're working with, then vermiculite and perlite really aren't the best choices. For example, if you're dealing with a sandy soil or a clay heavy soil, then compost is going to be a better choice for you to actually amend that soil. What compost is going to bring is not only the water retention qualities that both vermiculite and perlite have, but it's also going to bring microorganisms, fungus, and other nutrients to the soil that's actually going to change the physical structure of your troubled soil. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you now know the difference between vermiculite and perlite. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time on City Studying Garden and Grow.